here is Kelvin the Kiln. Uh, he's got his lid up and has gas struts on the side of it, the lid, which uh, help me lift it up and down because it's really heavy and also keep it in place when it's up like that. So that little hole at the top is an air vent and when we're firing we put a bung in it just to stop the air coming out once we reach a certain temperature. And this is inside of Kelvin the kiln in his tummy. Um, so these wiggly wires are electric elements. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them. And when the electric flows into the kiln, they heat up and give off the heat from the heat from the electric running through them. Um, when they get up to about four, five hundred degrees, they start going red. And when we're firing the clay, um, we go up to eleven hundred degrees. When we're firing gold on, it's about seven hundred. If we're doing decal transfers, it's about seven eighty, eight hundred, depending on the decals. And when we put glaze on, which is what we normally do. Um, that fires to 1,010 degrees. And this little thing sticking out here is the thermos housing the thermostat. So that is in there. The thermostat's in there, reading the temperature all the time. And links up to this gadget on the wall here. That's a reminder on there to remind me which setting I need to put it on. So that's like a mini computer. And I set that computer for different firings on different programs. So it will know how many degrees per hour to go up to particular temperatures and um, at what speed. And then once it reaches the top, it goes, it stops and it goes into what we call a soak. That makes sure it will sit at the top temperature for a set amount of time. Um, to make sure that that temperature is even all over the inside of the kiln before it cuts off and finishes the firing. So that's inside of Kelvin. And uh, we fill that up, so we fill that bottom shelf up and pop props in and then put the next shelf on. So we have to make sure everything's the same height when it goes in before we put a shelf on and then keep filling the shelf up and put another shelf on top of that, etc., until he's full. And then, oops, keep tight a hold of him and bring that down. See how it fires them up if he's still switched on. And it'll go through and it'll tell me it's 24 degrees in there still. It's on number three is our clay firing because I took clay out of there this morning. And then it has his lock on which we put on and put a padlock on when it's been firing so nobody can um, get in and play with it. And look at that lovely sign. Built with pride in Lancashire. Our kiln came from Northern Kilns, a great Potter family and uh, builder of kilns in Lancashire. So it's great to have them on the doorstep. So there we go. So when we open him, he will naturally open to that far. It lets a little bit of heat out. Um, we don't open the lid until he's down to 100 degrees because it would damage it. And um, he's quite pristine inside for someone who, or kiln, he's about to turn six in May this year in 2001. So thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please get in touch.